The 2011 National Alumni Association Special Achievement Award is presented to Suzanne brady Colney. Once her junior high school science teacher introduced her to fruit flies and genetics, Suzanne brady Colney, the daughter of a teacher and a NASA electrical engineer, also a UD alumnus, knew she wanted to become a biologist. And she did. Graced by a supportive family and encouraging teachers, including those at the University of Dayton who gave her the rare opportunity to do research as an undergraduate. After graduating from UD in 1987 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Biology, Suzanne received a doctorate from the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine and was a postdoctoral fellow at the Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. Since 1995, she has been on the faculty of the Department of Molecular Biology and Microbiology at Case Western Reserve University. Her work focuses on the role of cell adhesion, the ability of cells to stick to one another, and how they are altered in cancer. To make tissue, cells communicate with one another. Cancer cells, however, lose the ability to be controlled by the normal cells surrounding them. Leading cancer journals report her groundbreaking research, and the journal Cancer Research featured her most recent work in its September 1, 2011 cover story. Today, Suzanne continues her work at Case Western Reserve University. She has dedicated over 20 years to cancer research, participates on numerous committees, and has also developed a music compatibility app. For these special achievements, the University of Dayton is proud to bestow its 2011 Special Achievement Award on Dr. Suzanne brady Colney. I'm very honored to be here tonight, and uh, my connection to the University of Dayton actually starts in the 1890s, where my great-grandfather went to St. Mary's School for Boys, and my father and my uncle both graduated from the University of Dayton. My dad um, was an electrical engineer, engineering student here, and he worked for NASA for 37 years. And my uncle Al um, was a physics and math major here at the university, and he's an MD-PhD, and at 75 years old, he's still an attending physician in the emergency room, so um, they're serving you well as well. And um, I uh, was fortunate to have two very supportive parents. My mom, Elena, is here in the audience tonight, and she was one of 11 kids, the only one to go to college and become a teacher, so she's been very influential in my life as well. Uh, I have four brothers and sisters, and seven nieces and nephews that keep me uh, young and busy, so I'm very fortunate. My time here at UD was um, wonderful. I fell in love with the place on my first visit, and I didn't really want to go anywhere else to college. Um, it was a great experience in many different ways, so um, I felt like I got a very um, uh, rounded, grounded experience here. I was in many activities. I was on the cross-country team. Um, I was in the Row, Row, Row Little Sisters group um, associated with the Row fraternity. Many of the guys are here tonight. And um, I had a lot of great friends that I lived with in the ghetto, and Patty's here tonight um, on Evanston. And um, we, uh, we, in addition to the activities like uh, Beta, Beta, Beta on, um, Biology Society, I was able to do undergraduate research, which is very unusual, I think, um, in most universities. And John Rowe was kind enough to let me work in his lab for four years. And I had a lot of wonderful professors. Um, Bob Kearns is here tonight, uh, my microbiology teacher. And I see that Brother Geiger is here as well. And um, I got a great education. I spent a lot of time in Sherman Hall. and. Um, that experience, um, and, and Brother Bruce Giffen as well um, in cell biology, influenced me to go on to graduate school. And I was very um, fortunate that I started out in a field uh, working on cell adhesion that, that I really have stayed in for the past 20 years. And I was able to, I think, make some research contributions because of the depth of the time that I spent in that area. Um, and 
what I think is important for people to understand is that as you leave UD, your, your goal is to be a leader and be, be of service to your community. And I think I've been able to do that through teaching and mentoring over the years and through my research career. But we're at a time in um, academic research where funding is very difficult and, and I'm fearful that we might lose a generation of young scientists if we're not further supporting research. So I think that it's very important for you to um, consider supporting the university, which is a great um, research institution. And I think it's, it's really important for the growth of the state of Ohio. And the other great thing that happened to me at UD is I met my husband, J.T. Kalney. We've been married for 25 years, and, and he's um, gone through a lot of sacrifices to let me work really long hours and make the contribution that I have. And I thank the university for its tremendous impact on my life, and I hope that I will continue to make you proud. Thank you.